YouTube, it's Christy Allure, and I'm back with the French braid headband. Oh yes, aren't you excited? I had some request because on my Arbonne makeup tutorial, I did a uh, French braid headband that my mom created long, long time ago. I've been wearing this hairstyle for whoa, over a couple decades, and I wanted to share it with you guys and show you how she is able to French braid my hair and make it look like a headband. So the product we're gonna use first is um, Whey, which I love this dry shampoo foaming. This is actually gonna help keep that French braid in place without it being crunchy, like as if you were to use regular mousse. Mousse makes your hair crunchy, a lot of them. Even the, uh, the medium hold or the light hold, it doesn't matter, it still gives it that kind of crunch feeling and I don't like that. Mm -hmm. First she's going to start off with the blue comb because we always talk about our blue comb and this comb again I'm going to just keep raving about it. It's um, from Sally's. It's called Com I think it's called Comare C-O-M-A-R-E 357. You can I mean it's the only comb I bring when I'm traveling. When I was dancing I mean this is just the one comb we always need it. This and my wet brush. That's all I bring when I'm traveling. So we're going to start off with this comb. We're going to start off with foaming the hair in the front because we're just braiding the front. So I did blow dry it first. Sometimes I blow dry it after, but I did blow dry my hair first. And then you'll take your flat iron later on if you want to smooth out the ends and make it real straight. Another product you'll need is your clippies because you want to make sure that you're actually going to clip the excess hair that you're not using and you can also use a clamp as well oh thanks mom you can use a clamp she doesn't want to be seen so you know she'd probably be better at explaining all this stuff but she's the hair expert i'm the makeup but she's the hair we're a good team we're a dynamic duo so here we go let's get started okay here's my mom who just wants to show her arm <laughs> love you mom and she's going to show you now how to part the hair Go ahead, Mom, you take over. You can commentate this part. You're the expert. I like to comb the hair all the way back off the face for a headband. I part it. It doesn't matter if you're not in the center in front of a mirror. I just part it down the center. A lot of people just push the hair, and it automatically parts itself, which is a great way for a part. Most people don't know that, but I'll show you again. You just comb it back, push, it has an automatic part, and you will see right in half. There you they go. Never have That's to how you create a center part. part. Right, Mom? That's the perfect center part. Correct. That is a really, really good And it's really a very natural trick. part. Yes. You don't have to say, where is my part? Your part will be automatically with the push. Using her blue comb, expert. which is mine, right? <laughs> I use this. It's a great measure. Like a measurement tool. And I start with this, and here I put my finger. I like using my finger. <laughs> and I go, and I just use my nail, and I go to the back of her ear, which we'll have to do. She likes to use her finger. That's what she said. Great measurement. Do you know what that means, Mom, when they say, that's what she said? No. Oh, okay. Old school. <laughs> It's kind of a dirty terminology. Because I've got to the back of the ear, I've got, I know exactly Sticking to what I want, which is another triangle. If you notice, it's straight down the middle. Triangle. I love triangles. <laughs> it gives me exact measurement. She's not OCD or anything? No. But because I'm going to make a headband, I am going to go left to right. Some people go the opposite way. I, easier for me to go left to right so my right side will be my end so then triangle I will go behind the ear and pull it to your nape which is usually your what? right pull here your neck. it's usually probably an inch from your hairline but it gives me this hair to right to attach the rubber band Pull this out of the way, and I will use a clamp. Twist it, because it gives it, makes it more secure. Was yep. I ever tender-headed, Mom? Yes. Oh, I was. Suck it up. That's what my mom would say. 
suck it up. Another way, back, top, to the blue line, all the way to behind the ear. You also say that pain. Right there. Beauty is pain. You want to look pretty? Suck it up. Right. <laughs> I was born to be a beauty guru with this mother as a cosmetologist for 48 years. So now I have a back, which I need to get out of my way. So a lot of people will use a clamp. I use twist, clamp, and then I try to use the rubber band because it really secures it. It gets it out of my way. Sometimes the clamps get loose and then I lose my braid. We don't want to lose a braid, do we, Christy? No. We don't want to do this twice. No. So now I have a right side and a left side, both behind the ear, behind the ear with to the center back nape so it gives me to tie the back and hides it from the hair when it comes down. So Christy loves this part. So <laughs> this is the fun part do, as the, the hair model. You can put your head, see she's already used to it. She's tilting her head. She's one step ahead of me. I've been doing this since I was five. So this is when we use the mousse. Oh, the way. This is the way mousse. It's best stuff ever, Sephora. It's a little tiny, but hand. not too much, Mom. That, Probably. that costs money. Excuse me. <laughs> this is okay. Size of a silver dollar. Silver dollar. There you go. On her nose, <laughs> if she gives you a bad time. <laughs> Rub your hands. <laughs> grab this section. Grab this section. And you're working it. Don't yeah, part. worry more about the back. Worry more about and your the hair will smell really, really, really good with this stuff because it's like especially the because best most people stuff. like to use the braid when they're going out in the night. Mm -hmm. Well, your hair is already kind of sweaty, so it's gonna make it nice because it's a mm -hmm. works as a dry shampoo and a foaming keeps it all in place. It also gives your hair volume. That's another good trick um, to use before you blow dry if you have really fine hair. I don't, unfortunately. It takes me like an hour to blow dry my hair. So, so as you notice, Miss Christy, I, I am like combing the hair with her natural oils and the dry shampoo to the left to right. That's her left. That's mine. <laughs> now she needs to tilt her head all the way down because I'm so tall. But you can tell she's used to it. Triangle. Or sometimes a lot of people do not have enough hair here. So I, if they have thick hair, I could use a triangle. Short, thinner hair on the front side, I just make a, from her eyebrow, corner of her eyebrow, I just run a straight finger right through it, lift. Comb that down, comb it smooth. Two fingers, right down the center. So I have a one, two, three, in between fingers. My thumb is controlling the first strand. I pull, grab and pull, sit left index finger between the second and third, go under it and pinch that right strand. Bring it over, go underneath, Pinch and grab the left strand. Add on the back of the hair. It doesn't matter how much you have. Add on, pinch. Leave it close to your parting. Do not bring it forward. You're going to follow the back line. See her line? We're going to follow that line. So I'm pinching hair. I'm going to grab that middle strand. Grab it tight. Go underneath again, pinch, ready to add on. A thick braid, you take fatter strands. Thin braid, you take thin strands. So grab it, center strand, under. Grab that center strand, 
grab just a tiny hair. Don't even grab a lot. There's not much to grab on the back. So grab it. Underneath. Pinch that front. Grab it. I'm still close to the hairline in the back. We're going to add on a piece. The tension is on your thumb. You want to keep it very tight. Center piece underneath. That center piece is going to be very thin because you're really not grabbing from the back. You're going to grab another piece back here, just enough just to, to stay tight and keep it together. Underneath pinch, add on, pinch, grab. Underneath, take it under, grab that center strand and you still got some pieces here, that's what you grab. You grab that with your thumb. That center strand will go under. Grab it, pinch, add on. As you can tell, I am working tilt to hitchin. I am working that braid on that center. It does not have to be an exact part because this will be fluffed, the back of the hair will fluff it up so it will give it more volume. So grab that center. You get tired, take a minute break. Hold on to it, relax. Grab that center underneath. Pinch that center with your right thumb. Add on hair. Grab with your left hand that middle strand. Tug it to your left. Grab the center, add on. Pinch underneath, grab it to the right and go to the right and adds tension to the braid keeps it tighter. You pinch it, you add on a little hair again, and you go underneath. You pinch that strand that's on the right, grab that center, tug it, make sure it's tight, and you want to add on to that thumb. You see that thumb right there? You're adding on your right strand to your thumb. Underneath, grab that left strand, Add on again, add on, just grab that little piece right there with your thumb, and you're gonna go underneath, left, pull. Add on, grab, tug, underneath. Grab with your right, add to your thumb. Tension, take it that way to the left. Your thumb, add to your thumb. So what we're actually doing is adding to the thumb every time. Center goes under, grab with the left strand, add with your left thumb. Underneath, your right strand goes under that thumb and you're going to add on to that thumb again. Underneath, and I'm going to tilt her head a little bit that way. I'm going to add on to that thumb again, underneath, hold it with your thumb, pincher, add on to that left thumb again. So actually what we're really doing is adding to the thumb every time. Grab it. Now this is where we got to the top of the ear and I'm going to use this back piece. So we got, we're going to add on to that thumb. Turn it, and we don't have to add on to the right anymore. So I'm going to tilt her head and her chin that way. <laughs> we're going to add on. There's nothing to add, so we're just going to go to the thumb, pinch it like a regular braid, add on now the back hair instead of the front. We're going to add on the back. Now we're just making a braid. Add on to the back thumb only for the bottom. Regular braid, add on, I mean, pinch, add on to the hair, and I've gotten here, and I'm adding the last of the strand to my right thumb. Tuck underneath, add, and now we're just going to braid. I have found it's, the hair will, strand will stay longer 
if you leave small rubber band if you leave the braid at the snake yes it's is that right correct Christy? yes it will you can keep this for a few days if you do it to the scalp because if you braid it all the way down it gets loose when you sleep and all that so as soon as she's done are you done now this is the part that she hates watch Ow! but because I love it I hate it and love it because is it feels tight it feels secure when it's nice and tight so I love when she bands it at the scalp and this way it's not like you can kind of hide it through your hair so now the braid will look like this it looks like it's ending right here we have a braid closer to this hair not to the hairline closer to your part to the further back makes the hairline so we actually always add it on the front barely in the back until we got to the back We'll take this out, the clamp, and the rubber band, and we'll fluff her. And you know, Christy likes height, and she's going to put a little back combing on top. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. I'm going to flat iron and show you what the final product looks like. But wait. Oh, Mom's wait. not done. Keep your head down. She's always going ahead of me. From this eye to this eye, we are going to make the braid thicker. We're going to pull, white each strand. We're going to pull, we're going to fan it out, we're going to fan this out, fan this out. So the headband actually looks thicker. Ooh, I like that. You've never done See? that for me before. You See, Mom watches YouTube hair. tutorials too. No, actually, this is her own creation. She did not get this from anybody. She I taught myself, actually. Actually, See all her braids, she creates herself. It's thicker. Yes. It actually looks like it's fake. I like it. There you go. It looks really cute. Okay, so here you have it. This is what it looks like. Now, I'm not completely done because I wanted to show you guys a little, I'm going to give you a little teasing lesson. That sounded, that sounded a little inappropriate, but you know what I mean. I'm going to show you how to tease your hair. So, of course, the blue comb. You also will need your Kenra. Uh, this one is Sheer Holding Spray number eight. This is just a minimal hold because I don't like the firm hold hairsprays. I just feel like it makes me feel like I have a helmet head. And I like it to brush out nicely. Cause you know, at the end of the night, you get home, you wanna be romantic. You don't want to like <laughs> with your hair. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what that was, but you get my drift. So here we go. We're gonna tease. We're gonna take a section of the hair. This is gonna even, isn't this beautiful? Look at this. Look at this, you guys. This is amazing. My mom is so talented. She's so amazing. Ugh. So I'm going to take this section of my hair, okay? I'm going to take it just like that. My girlfriends call me the queen of teasing. <laughs> so, for so many different reasons. No, I'm just kidding. Ah, oh, look at I need it out. I have an outgrowth, so just ignore that. I'm getting my hair done next week. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to put some tension on it. I'm going to pull it up like this, okay? I'm going to take my comb. Now, the finer your hair, the more you need to count. Watch, I'm gonna count, I'm gonna do 10 times. I don't have fine hair, I actually have, I have a lot of hair. But I'm just gonna show, show as if you had fine hair. You would take it 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, okay? Now, if you have really thick hair, I'm gonna get that piece out of the way, then you, you could probably do it like five, I wouldn't do less than five, but maybe like, five or six or seven times, but this is 10 times. If you really wanted to hold though, even if you have thick hair, I would still go 10 times. So there you go. Now I'm gonna take the hairspray and kind of spray it from far away. Now I'm gonna take another section. This is really where you want the height is below here. So I'm gonna take that section, I'm gonna tease 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I'm gonna kind of smooth it out. I'm going to hairspray that. Now I'm going to take another section. Go here. Just like this will be my last section. Okay. And I'm going to tease it 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Smooth it out. Spray. Woohoo! Doesn't that look sexy? A little sexy tease. All right. So we're going to take this side right here. And we're going to do the same thing. Oop, sorry. I'm saying sorry to myself. Sorry, Christy. 
All right, now we're gonna tease 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Smooth it out, spray. I don't like to spray too, too much, but just a little bit. I'm gonna take that. This, this time I'm only gonna go two sections. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Smooth it out, spray. Can you tell I grew up in a beauty salon? All right, and now you take this section. Here we go. And it's important to make sure you do the sides because you don't want to just do the front and have this big old goop right down the center. So you have to even it out by doing all three sides. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And make sure you smooth out those ends. There, spray it there. And then this last section will do. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Smooth it out and spray and there you go there you have it you know i look hot like this just kidding all right now for the tricky part you're gonna flip it over whoa isn't that pretty i feel like i need to be in a lady gaga video <laughs> all right here we go it's not gonna look like this you're gonna take that comb and you're just gonna start smoothing it down just like that just like that don't make sure you don't take out all the back combing though, because that was the whole point. You're just smoothing it out. And then this is why you're gonna need a comb with a pig at the at the back part of the comb because I'm gonna show you in just a second. Just bear with me. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Okay, so before I set it, I'm gonna take the hairspray one more time, then I'm just gonna kind of because I wanna get it molded. Okay. And then I'm going to take the pick, this part of the comb. That's why it's very, very, very important to have that pick at the end of the comb. And I'm just going to kind of start placing it. Well, y'all know I'm a Texas girl at heart, so I like big hair. I was an NBA dancer. I mean, I was a cheerleader. Of course, I'm a pageant girl. I like big hair. I like big hair. I know. Most people don't, but I do. So... This is what it's going to look like, and I'm just going to kind of mold it a little because you don't want it too, too, too big for normal. So then I just take the comb and I just kind of start playing with it, you know, and it just really, you back comb in, well, we call it back comb, but you tease to what makes you feel comfortable, what makes you feel beautiful. I feel more beautiful when my hair is a little bit more voluptuous. <laughs> I wasn't gifted anywhere else, so at least my hair will be voluptuous. <laughs> but this is uh, the hair that I wore in my natural makeup tutorial, and I did get a lot of requests um, asking me how my mom was able to French braid my hair and make it look like a, hair ba uh, a headband. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to see more of these videos with my beautiful mama doing my hair, just comment down below make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe to this video or subscribe to my channel i should say and i look forward to seeing you on my next one thanks guys bye